Fish Tank people, FishTankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks, Thursday night edition over at Steve's house, bringing it here over at the wonderful furlough household, getting married this weekend, big dude, are you excited, it's man? It's a big day. On, uh, on uh, Saturday, I'm going to be there, getting uh. drunk. <laughs> so, we want to talk about the, uh, the tank, man, Steve's got it all trimmed up, he's like, dude, you got to come over, people have been asking. The 55 is looking good. Dude, people have been asking about the pond. We missed daylight by a couple of minutes. So uh, the pond update will come. Still a little stuff. Going we got to give it, no. give the 55 its due tribute today. No, and we're talking about something special today, Dustin. Special edition here because we have, Steve has it all trimmed up. Um, and we've said it before about this tank, and we're going to say it again. This is not your average Dustin low-tech tank. He's running this thing high-tech. He's running a high-tech with low-tech plants. Um... We'll talk about some of the plants here. What we're trying to talk about today, though, is the kind of the colors of what's going on. Um, Steve's been adding iron to this tank. Iron is a very, very important nutrient, and what it does is it brings out the red. So you can see at the tips of the rotella. I sell rotella on aquatic jungles. I'm going to bring, actually, some cuttings of this home with me. Um, but when you add high light and high iron content, you can get this, and you can get this pink more tips. pink. In fact, do you have any iron? Yeah, we need to keep adding some iron. Well, we can add. A, I want to show actually while we're on camera, adding a little iron to this. If you care, I got you. Five milliliters. Yeah. Um, big old plug for Seachem. They make Seachem. It's the good stuff. This is the stuff you got to keep around. This is this this and prime, and you're good. So get up on the uh, rotella over here if you would. And just watch how adding five milliliters of iron can really dose this. When's the last time you dosed it, and what's the med what? How much do you typically dose? Uh, I like to. Well, now after big water change, you give it like 10 mLs of, of iron, but uh, you can give it like five mLs twice a week. You got that belief right there. All right, so watch uh, it. All right. I feel like Mr. Wizard or something. Like, watch it now. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but uh, you can see it kind of redden up just a little bit there, just right on contact. Um, I personally use Laguigia as my. Uh, like red gauge in my tank, so like you'll see the narrow leaf of Wiggy in my 125. I use that as how much iron I need to add, and I've been cheating. I've been adding a little iron here and there. I'm not gonna lie. Wiggy is gonna be a little more red than the Rotala, but the Rotala gets you the nice pink tips. And if any of you want to see Rotala under natural sunlight, in my old, old, old school videos, look up 40 uh, Dustin's 40 high update. Back when I was in the Green Thumb office, I had Rotala in. You remember that? I had that in the yeah. office, and it was just bumping, but. Um, one of the things Steve is doing right here is he's got a lot of, and you can chime in when you want, man, but this uh, this whole, like, colors is kind of, like, going in. So he's got his dark greens in the middle, his focal point, and then it kind of goes to light. Then he's got his dark uh, crypts over to the left, and then... The um, dark crypts over and there. you got your Rotella, you got your... Sturbay's chilling down there in the oh, front. Oh yeah. Those would look so good in my 125. Yeah, you're not oh, getting my good. you're not getting my Sturbay's. I'm keeping it the Sturbay's. And then um yeah, yeah, I really kind of like to focus on the the dark got the got the dark greens in the middle cuz I mean, if you're doing plants, you're going to have shades of green. That's kind of what you have to work with. So I like to kind of focus in on the nice dark greens in the middle. Uh, I've got the pinks and the light greens on the outside with the Rotala. We've got a little java fern up here, a little bit of star grass. Ah, the Thai plant doesn't really work with what I'm doing, but it's it's one of my favorite plants, so I'm it's just dope. trying to keep it alive. Dope plant, dude. It's a dope plant. And then let's talk to a little bit about hygropola. It's one of those. It's one of those plants. Um, I don't it's hard any, to do right. I don't have any of it for sale, but it grows like a weed. Excuse me, I'm about to burp. Uh, never fails when I start making a video. But uh, Steve's doing something special here because what he does, and talk about how you trim this, because you trim it back kind of at a, a certain spot. It'll get long and big. It'll get too big for a 55. So what I like to do is I like to cut the stalk. I'll cut the stalk like right here. And you see where there's these two green leaves coming out below here? Those will come out and shoot out and make the next plant and keep it nice and small and keep the, the leaves nice and trim. If not, they're just going to get too big and take over. And it kind of makes that nice little tree effect for you tank. So it's it's a good option. All right, it's a good now, option. I want you to be honest about something here. Roll down on the uh, baby tears and show us what you're doing with the baby tears. Oh. oh confess Everybody wants to talk to me about baby tears. You know. Dwarf baby tears. You got dwarf baby now, tears. Now, how do I keep now, dwarf baby tears? These are this your, is a high-tech tank. These are your baby tears. I had really good luck with baby tears in here for years. They do great. I like them. I, they love the, o, the CO2, whatever. So I got dwarf baby tears because I wanted to try something new. And they were doing so well. They were growing. They were spreading. They were doing awesome. 
And now they're dry, turning brown and dying. And why do we talk about that? What do you think? They're a bitch. It's, it's too much yeah, highlight. Too much too highlight. Too much CO2. If you're not doing highlight and you're not doing CO2, don't even try with Dwarf Baby Tears. Don't even try. Don't even try. But you need dirt. You need iron. I think I just need a little more brighter light. I think you need the halides. Newer bulbs. Newer bulbs. I, I bulbs got... Are a year old. My bulbs are a year bulbs. old in my tank. And if... Uh, you guys realize that you know having quality bulbs, having new bulbs, no matter how good the quality of the bulbs are, new bulbs, they, they gotta upgrade it. Now I'm running T5s. I got two T5s in this 55 gallon tank. I got the Zoomed bulb, which I really like because it's got no fans on it. So I, I you know, no if you guys that just the, just the quiet, it's bliss. I love it. But. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I need to upgrade the bulbs. Yeah, you upgrade the bulbs. So you had the baby tears. I got to get some just regular baby tears rolling in one of my tanks again just to get it hopping. But, you know, that's what's up, people. Have to show a good tank looking good. Um, yeah, let's do it.